Hello again, friends. Welcome to episode number 58. We are here in Candlelave City because, as I'm sure you figured out by now, we will be challenging the gym leader in order to uh, not get a badge, because we already have the badges, but in order to continue our rematch streak here. Um, I have no idea how we got here the first time, but let's wander around a bit, see if we can figure it out. So far, we have defeated, uh, I guess, four gym leaders. We've lost one twice, and we have three to go. So my goal is going to be to defeat the remaining three this episode. We'll see how it goes. If we do lose, then maybe we'll just defeat two. Or we could do really bad and defeat less than two. Oop, not that way. How about over here, maybe? Sooner or later, we have to end up there, right? But yeah, I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. This is kind of my... Um, I don't know if it's my favorite part of the game or not. It's definitely one of my favorite parts of the game. But, I mean, like, going through the storyline... Oh, this looks promising. There we go. Um, and doing, like, all the gym leaders the first time and evolving your Pokemon and all that. That's always really fun. But, um... This kind of final phase too, where your team is fully trained up, they're in top fighting shape, and you get to face some really powerful and really interesting trainers with them. That's definitely a lot of fun too. It's sort of the payoff after all that hard work. Thanks for coming. I heard about your remarkable achievement from Roark, that you've entered the Hall of Fame. No surprise there. Small wonder then that, you, you, that my son and I had such a rough time battling you. But this time I won't underestimate you or let my guard down in the slightest. I have you to thank for shaking me out of my complacency. Now then, Sin, brace yourself, and let's begin. All right, I'm braced. Let's do this. Bracing. It's bracing, right? Something like that. Byron. <laughs> Close enough. Like Lord Byron. And he's got a Skarmory. I kind of thought he might start with Skarmory, just because Steel Trainers, I don't know, for whatever reason, they always seem to leave with Skarmory. Um, I figured I would go with Tori, just like, like I usually say. It's a nice neutral Pokemon, Water and Steel. Uh, water resists Steel, but it's not super effective against it. So it seemed like a pretty neutral matchup here. Um, all of our moves are evenly effective, so let's go with Water Ball. Get that nice same type attack bonus, as well as the 20% extra bonus from Waterfall, and that did not do a lot of damage at all. Yeah, Skarmory is a very defensive Pokemon, and now that it's like EV trained and the same levels, um, I almost need to treat this like a competitive battle and like switch Pokemon here. I'm a little worried he's going to as well now. Um, and he has Stealth Rock up, which is not great, because it means... Um, uh, it means all my switches are going to take additional damage. I'm going to bring in Billy. One, because Billy would resist any flying type moves and any steel moves, but also because we have Flamethrower, which is a special move and super effective. No sense of attack bonus, but um, it'll probably do more damage than even like um, a uh, Flare Blitz would from Wynn. Or at least it won't have the uh, secondary effects. All right, and now that Skarmory's used Iron Defense, it probably knows Roost as well, so it's probably going to try to just like stall us out here and maybe put up some spikes or something. So um, with the Iron Defense increase and its naturally high defense, I'm guessing that Wild Charge, while getting Stab and the Magnet, will probably do less than Flamethrower. Wouldn't mind a Burn. Steel Wing. Oh, and we've dodged it. Didn't really matter too much. Um, Steel Wing is. Not the highest base power move, base power 70, I think. And it's not very effective, and Skarmory doesn't have a naturally high attack stat, and probably doesn't have attack EVs, so I, I wasn't too worried anyway. But hey, no damage is definitely better than a little bit of damage. And all right, so we do have the numbers advantage now. The downside is we do have Stealth Rock up, and uh, Tori took a little bit of damage, so. At least I think she did. Maybe, maybe she didn't, but either way, that Stealth Rock is almost worth a Pokemon. All right, Steelix. Uh, okay. Interesting here. So Flamethrower would probably do the most against Steelix. We have three moves that are super effective, because even though our attack stat is higher than our special attack stat, his defense stat is much higher than his special defense stat. The question is, do I want to stay in a Flamethrower, or do I want to switch to, like, Anna? Um, see, I'm worried about Anna a little bit, because... It might use a it wouldn't use a steel attack though. Eh, let's go ahead and switch. I think it's probably a good move. I don't want to overthink things. Because when I get the intimidate, two, I'll dodge the likely ground attack that's coming in here. 
Or it might do like Iron Defense or something. We'll see. Oh, Stealth Rock though. Yeah. That is a, a big cost there actually. Um, if I had remembered Stealth Rock, I might have might have done change of plans. Cause I was thinking I would come in and then I was like, what do I have? And I have Close Combo, which is super effective, but it still wouldn't do a lot of damage because it doesn't get stab and Steelix has such high defenses. Um, so my plan was, and I guess still is, to U-turn out of here. Cause he's probably gonna use a steel attack now or maybe a rock attack. I'll have to try to guess which. Um, thankfully with the Intimidated, it'll do less damage now. So who could take a steel or rock attack? Probably Ace. Ace has a pretty good defense stat, but I really don't have anything super effective. I have Dig, I guess. But again, not the best move here. I might bring Tori back in. Um, Tom would have just a rock attack. It's just Steelix has such high... Hmm. I might even bring back Billy for that flamethrower. Let's bring back... Well, he's going to Earthquake me. That's the whole reason I switched out in the first place. This is tough. Um, yeah, I'm less worried because of Steelix's... You know what? Waterfall is super effective, unlike... Yeah, let's bring in Tori here. Unlike Skarmory. So it should do more damage, even despite Steelix's super high defense stat. And he used Iron Tail. Good, a steel move. That's not very effective. Wow, that did actually a lot of damage, considering that was after the Intimidate. The Steelix must have some attack EVs. Alright, decent bit of damage there. I'd love to get a flinch here. Earthquake. Oh, we avoided it. Nice, okay. Because that would have done, um, that would have been a knockout right there, being evenly effective, so. Good job, Tori. And down goes Steelix. Definitely a tough battle. We've um, pulled ahead in the numbers count, but a lot of our Pokemon have taken some chip damage along the way. Magnazone, okay. Makes sense. Um, ooh. Well, I'm debating, I was gonna say I could switch into Billy. Um, because he has the ability Motor Drive, as you can see, and that would increase my speed. But a lot of Steel Pokemon really aren't fast, so I really don't think that would matter. If it was like Special Attack, then I would, but not for speed. Um, and while I could retaliate with Earthquake, it, might, it doesn't have an Air Balloon, so it might have like a, a Shuka Berry or something. Um, and I don't want to keep switching and taking all that Stealth Rock damage. So let's stay in. Uh, we've not faced a Magnezone before, but we do have Brick Break, which is super effective. Let me just do the math here. Um, Waterfall is base power 80, 120 plus 20% 20 is 24, so 144. Brick Break is 150, so Brick Break will do a little more damage. But we don't get the flinch chance. You know what? I'm going to go for Waterfall, actually. Because that 20% flinch chance, I think, is worth a, a tiny a few percentage points of damage. Hey, there we go. See, that was smart. All right, let's do it again. That's our best chance of winning here is just to flinch it. Press our luck. All right, didn't get two uh, flinches in a row, but hey, that one was definitely worth it. Because basically it was 150 points of damage versus 144, so that's barely anything. I'd much rather have the flinch chance. Um, all right, let's go ahead and bring in Tom. I don't see a reason not to. Tom should be able to finish off uh, Magnezone here. And also, I imagine, should fare well against anything else that he may have. I don't see a reason not to use Earthquake. Even with a Shuka Berry, there's no way it's going to survive a Garchomp's Earthquake. It's four times super effective, it's a very high attack stat, stab, and we're holding the Soft Sands. That is a lot of damage. Honestly, even with a uh, full health uh, Magnezone, I don't think he would have survived that. And Empoleon. Okay, Empoleon probably knows some Ice-type attacks. But Garchomp should be faster, and Polion's not that fast. And unless he's holding a berry or something, he should be weak to Earthquake. So hopefully he doesn't have a Focus Sash. No, okay. The yeah, Polion would have been a weird Pokemon to have a Focus Sash. You see it on Infernape a lot, but Polion's a little bit sturdier. So that would have been odd. All right, now we're talking. Good job, Tom. Get some extra experience to help us fight this Byron. Now, Agron probably has sturdy, but it is doubly weak to Earthquake, so... We're gonna keep up the trend here. Oh, it's oh, it must have a choice scarf. Um, head smash is actually not very effective, but I'm sure it still would have done, still would have done a lot of damage. Yeah, it must be a choice scarf, um, which is cool. I actually used a choice scarf agron myself in the uh, battle Mason 
and Alpha Sapphire. So if you want to see a uh, Choice Scarf Agra in action, definitely check that out. I think I do have you cornered, Byron. Fast dude, oh, of course, his uh, original one. It's a very high level, but even so, it's still not that powerful, and it is doubly weak to Earthquake. Now, it might have sturdy. Looks like it does, so you do get one attack. Let's see what he can do with it. I would think even after a rock polish, he wouldn't be faster. Roar, okay. Well, uh, I mean, it'll do a little bit of damage due to stealth rock, but... Um, even taking another quarter of its HP and stealth rock damage. When we get the Intimidate, that's nice. But I don't think it'll matter because we can probably finish it off right here. It's not over. Steel only gets stronger with every hit it takes. Well, um, let's use close combat. He might use a full restore, so I just want to make sure we're doing as much damage as we could. And while it will lower our defenses, this should get him back in um, one HP range again. Oh, not quite. Wow. Bastion... I mean, it's known for its defenses, so there you go. Four times super effective, 120 base power, but not getting stab uh, really made the difference there. Uh, nevertheless, we'll follow it up with one more close combat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Two more close combats. You're only delaying the inevitable, Byron. All right, next up we have Candice, which uh, I was going to say Candice, like ice. And there we go, did a little more damage that time. Our defenses are super low, but... Luckily, I don't think Bastiodon can learn any high priority moves. And down you go. Good job, Anna. Good job, team. That was a bit more what I was expecting from these gym leaders. Like a, a fun, like a battle that was tough enough to be fun, but not tough enough where I really thought we would lose. I think we only lost, like, what? One Pokemon? Two Pokemon there? Hmm, that was an impressive battle. Yeah, still just is not the best type. Like, if you had, like, Metagross or something, maybe, but. Um, he didn't. Gwahahaha. I retrained myself on Iron Island, but it still wasn't enough. It seems that experience is no match for youthful vigor. This is the sticker I use all the time. I know it's not much, but please accept it. Yeah, imagine you defeat this really tough gym leader and all you get is a sticker. <laughs> like, I want a sticker that says that. I defeated the Sinnoh League and all I got was the sticker. Alright, so, yeah, really just Tori and, you know, some damage, but overall that one wasn't too bad. Oh, I needed to. This is not the one I wanted to take. Um, seemed tougher than it was. A lot of these gym battles have been like this, where it's still early on, they seem like they're pretty even. Cantina's battle was also the same way, and then uh, you get to the end, you're like, oh, that wasn't so hard after all. Because it seems like they each have a few Pokemon that, for whatever reason, just happen to be able to uh, fare well against our team. Um, but then... The other ones just end up being defeated like in one shots. All right, let us go to is it Snowpoint City, I think it's called. Yes, yeah, Snowpoint. And uh, yeah, we have two gyms that we haven't challenged yet. Three more to go in total. And obviously, let's heal up because, well, I think the odds are in our favor. They probably wouldn't be if we weren't fully healed. Ice is interesting because, like I said before, Ice is a very good offensive type. Um, but not very good defensively, and we do have a lot of fighting attacks on our team. So, this might not be that hard, at the risk of jinxing it. I don't want to be overconfident, but I wouldn't be super surprised if this is one of the easier fights we face. Um, Alright, who should I bring out? I'd love to bring out Ace, because we didn't get to use Ace last time. Or Win, for that matter, I don't think. Um, but I don't want to, Anna and Ace are both weak to Ice, so... Let's leave Tori out, just because Tori has Brick Break, so... I mean, it's something. And we'll see how it goes. Oh, do I have to do the snow thing again? Alright, um... Ah, oh, that's annoying. Okay, well... You know what I should do? is I should bring up my video from last time. And, uh... And see what I did. But I guess... Okay, it's not... It's the only puzzle is that you have to kind of... Um get momentum to defeat these snowballs, right? So, uh, I don't think that's the one we want. Okay, not enough momentum there. There we go. All right, um, so we need to get to, okay, I think I see what to do, sort of, kind of, a little bit. 
probably should go up here. Eh, maybe not. Ah. <laughs> hmm. See, the weird thing is I thought I could actually get to that one at some point. If I could get rid of this snowball, I don't know if I want to. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, so I guess the snowballs is only the ones that are down low that you can knock out. Alright, I need to get somehow... That guy. Well, let's just kind of mess around a bit and see what we can do here. We can go down here. Oh, here we go. Aha, there we go. Now we can go this way. There we go, okay. And then we go here, and then hopefully... Okay, cool. No pun intended. Now... Okay, I need to go up to that left side one. I think this is where I want to go here. Yep, there we go. So all in all, this isn't this isn't too bad. And then I've got to somehow get to the right side. How do I do that? Hmm. Okay, maybe by going over here. There we go. This seems promising. Hey, that's what we need to do. Alright, so then I can go down here. And, okay, cool. Alright, so now I think if I just go, oh, I have one more over here. Alright, and I need to come from the right, because stairs on the left, so... Oh, the taxi's right at an angle. Okay, I see what I need to do. This one's not too bad. It's not a super hard puzzle, but it is a very time-consuming one. Let's go back over here again. Nope. And do we have enough momentum to go up the hill? We do. No, we don't. Oh no! I was kind of counting on that. Alright, how about if I do this? This seems better. Kind of. Um. Hmm. No. I'm making this harder than it needs to be. I need to get to those two tiles on the right there. Um, but I don't see how to do that. Oh, I yes I do. Here we go. Alright, then you down one. Okay, sorry for the delay. <laughs> I knew you guys came here for some Pokemon battles, as did I. Um, but first, I need to get out of here. I wonder if they fixed that. Um, I knew there was a way to get trapped in this gym before. Hopefully they fix that. Alright, dude. wonder if he says anything interesting. Nope, not really. Alright. Here we go, Candace. I don't want to lose this, because then I have to do the puzzle all over again. Um, but yeah, let's give it our best shot. Let's see what happens. Sin, congrats on getting into the Hall of Fame. I've been waiting for you to show up here. After all, you not only beat me, you also took out the Elite Four and basically became an overnight celebrity. That's about as cool as it gets. Thanks to you, I'm more focused than ever. I still like fashion and romance, but right now I'm way more obsessed with you, Sin. I really want to beat you, so get ready for it. Alright, that's a little bit creepy, but let's uh, see how the battle goes. After all that puzzling, we might just have time for this one more fight, but we'll see. Obama Snow makes sense. I was, I was thinking like a Lonely Ninetales for some, um, cause a lo but obviously a Lonely Ninetales doesn't exist in this game, but if it did, that'd be a really good lead for a nice team. Um, but yeah, Obama Snow makes sense, too. Which is weird, because that was her best one, right? Before? Must not be anymore. Um, but I assumed it would be a Hail Team, and then they can get, like, Snow Cloak and some other abilities like that. Um, Alright, I guess Brick Break is the way to go, although Obama Snow is a Grass type. So... I could bring in Ace to take probably a Grass type move. I could bring in Win. Or Anna. Of course, Anna and Ace are both weak to Ice-type moves. Let's bring in... I, okay, I have an idea. 
I don't think he's going to use an ice type move against Tor. I think he's going to use a grass attack. And if I use Intimidate, that'll lower the damage it does. Uh, it might be like Wood Hammer, so it might do some recoil damage as well. And I can U turn out, which is super effective. And uh, saves Anna for another day. Aurora Veil. Oh! Interesting. I did not know Obama Snow could use Aurora Veil, or I probably would have tried to one shot it there, although I'm not sure Tori could even do that, but. Um, that's unfortunate. So Aurora Veil, if you guys don't know, is a very good move. It's kind of like. It's kind of like Reflect and Light Screen at the same time. Um, and that's what it is, essentially. And assuming it has the, uh, the Light Clay, or whatever it's called, um, those last eight turns instead of five. Ooh, so this will be tough. Basically, all of her Pokemon will take half damage for the next eight turns. So it's a really good move. Um, usually, you see a Lonely Nine Tails using it, but I guess Obama Snow can learn it as well. The things you learn. Um, Brave Bird would do a ton of damage, and I would use it, because I'm sure it would be a knockout normally. But after that uh, Aurora Veil, I don't think it will be. But I do have an idea, so let's see if I can uh, make it work. Whoa, okay. I guess Braver would have been a knockout even after the Aurora Veil, because that did way more damage. Oh, crit, that's why. I was say that did way more damage than I thought. All right, so what I'm going to do... I assume he's going to use an Ice Attack. Um... Alright, so what I was thinking I was going to do is switch into Tori for some Brick Break action. I guess I have two Brick Breakers, don't I? Yeah, let's do that. Because I'm a little bit scared here of like switching into like an Ice Attack, like a, a Blizzard or something, getting frozen, and losing my only Brick Breaker. Because Brick Break will actually break um, the Aurora Veil, just like it will with Light Screen or Reflect. Luckily, we did not get frozen. And Ice Punch didn't do too much damage, so... We can uh, do two Birds and one Stone here, because Brick Break will... well. I was going to say we finish Obama Snow um, and get rid of the Aurora Veil. I think it still might, because I assume it breaks it and then does damage. But maybe not. Because I think it would have been a... Well, I don't know. I, I would say it would be a knockout otherwise. But maybe I'm wrong. Brick Break is low base power, and Tori's, no offense, not the strongest attacker. But All right, let's hope this will be a knockout. Oh, no. So it just doesn't do a lot of damage. Well, Wood Hammer, OK. I was kind of expecting Aurora Veil again, but the good news here is that um, the Aurora Veil is gone, so you did your job, Tori. Well done. Oh, good, and the Recoil knocked it out, too. Very nice. And we each get a free switch in. So now the Hail is still going, but the Aurora Veil is gone, at least. And the Hail has been up for a number of turns, so she might have a second Hail Pokemon. There are, I think, a few others. Um, maybe it's just Ninetales? I don't know. Um, who to bring in now? Tom is weak. Actually, three of our Pokemon are weak to ice, so that's a little discouraging. Um, I could bring in Anna, but I don't want to waste Intimidate against a special attacker. We could always U-turn out if we're faster, but there's no guarantee we will be. Alright, let's bring in Ace and just see what happens, because I imagine all of our Pokemon will know at least one Ice move, so there's not going to be a great time. Um, Alright, Jinx. Haven't seen a Jinx in a while. Uh, Jinx is a Psychic and Ice type. Um, it's, it will be weak to both X Scissor and Iron Tail. Uh, let's see, Leaf Blade is base power 90, so with Stab, that's 135. With the Miracle Seed, is another 27. So it's 162. So actually, Leaf Blade, I think, will do more than X Scissor. It will not do more than Iron Tail. But um, Iron Tail could miss. Hmm. Uh, let's go for Iron Tail for fun. When it is faster, but we avoided it. That's good. Sweet Kiss, I think, puts you to sleep. It might confuse you. I, mean, I can't remember those kissing moves, but. Alright, good. So Iron Tail um, would have been a knockout except for the Focus Sash. So I guess it really didn't matter. I could have used Leaf Blade anyway. And well, we might have a full restore. Um, oh, do I use I That's an interesting question, then. Because the, unlike Sturdy, which uh, sticks around even if you get healed up to full HP again, Focus Ash is used up, it's gone. I'm going to expect a full restore. And because Jinx is faster up, I'm wrong. Okay. Sorry, Jinx. Um, 
Sorry, Ace. Oh, Ace held on as well. We have our own uh, focus ash. It's called it's called love. And we hit. Good job. Okay, I was worried that I would do all that and then miss Iron Tail, but I was really assuming a full restore there. Not sure why she didn't. All right. Good job, Ace. Got to level out of that. Oh no, the hail damage. Okay, well, still a really good battle. Even trade. Um, I still want to save Win. Win's like my trump card because he's, you know, doubly good against ice types. And it's fairly fast, but not as fast as I ideally would like. Um, thinking here, is there any reason? I don't think she has like Articuno or anything. Um, I could bring in Billy, I could bring in Tom. Let's bring in Tom. Not sure it really matters too much. Mammoth Swine, ground type versus ground type. Okay, this is not the best matchup here. Um, also, Mammoth Swine can have uh, Snow Veil, so it might have some evasiveness here. Um, nothing we have is really super effective, so uh, let's just go for a Quake. Ice Shard, ooh, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Hang in there, Tom. Oh, a one shot. I, I knew it would do a lot of damage. I didn't think it would be a one shot. I thought we had good enough defenses, but I guess we don't have any EVs, so that's fair. Um, I don't want to bring in Billy, because Billy's weak to it. Uh, I could bring in Anna, probably. But that Ice Shard, let's bring in Wynn. Um, I may have underestimated Candace here. Like I said, I didn't want to jinx it, but okay. I can't, I assume, is that just the gym or, I guess the hail's, has the hail stopped yet? I don't know, it did, it did defeat Ace, so obviously it's still kind of going. Do I want to use Close Combat or Flare Blitz? Um, let's use Close Combat, because we do have, one, we have the Expert Belt, so, or the, um, the Fighting Belt, whatever it's called, Black Belt. So it will do more damage. Yeah. And I was thinking even if it used Ice Shard, it would go before the defense drop because it would go first. So and I didn't think it would. Probably trying to use Earthquake there. Right, good job, Win. Now she probably has like a Lapras or something. Okay, the hail stops. So now the hail's gone. And Frost Lance. Frost Lance also can have. Or it's not Snow Veil, it's Snow Cloak. Right? Something like that. Um, it might know like Psychic. But it's a special attacker, so who? I don't know. Um, and Frostlass is immune to fighting, so that's also not great. Let's. Uh, we're probably not faster, in all honesty. Um, it's like, do I switch out? It's three versus three. Do I switch out Win for her last two and try to defeat Frostlass with Anna? Um, she probably is going to use like. Psychic or something, but the problem is being a special attacker, Intimidate won't really help me. Um, I mean, Frostless doesn't have the best defenses, so I do have that on my side. And I do have the defense drop from Win already. Yeah, I was, I was leaning towards not switching, but now I think I might. Um, U-turn would be not very effective. I could bring in Billy, but I'm just not sure Billy could take like a, a Psychic and then like a Blizzard or a Maybe a Psychic and Shadow Ball would be enough to finish him off. As much as I would love to save Anna for like one of her later Pokemon, I think I'd rather save Win. So let's see what we can do here. But also, I have to watch out for Destiny Bond too. That could very much get us again. Intimidate doesn't really matter. But let's see what he wants to do. Double Team! Oh, I wasn't expecting Double Team. I should have gone for Flare Blitz. Ah, might have outsmarted myself there. All right, um, all right, so Ice and Ghost, though. Let's stay in and use Brave Bird. That'll do a lot of damage, might even be a knockout. Oh, it's, oh, yes, good job, Anna. Um, well, the Blizzard only has 70% anyway. Oh, no. Wait, it avoided the, oh, because double team, duh, okay. Do I want to take another Blizzard? I know Wind could, but just, when a Pokemon is faster, it gives them such a huge advantage. All right. And we avoided it again. Very lucky. We needed some luck there. <laughs> and some bad luck, too. <laughs> yeah, I... Like I said before, at the risk of repeating myself, I really wish just, like, the affection mechanic wasn't a thing. Um, 
because I hate when Pokemon battles are determined by luck so much. Like this is not me being good. This is just luck. Or bad, you know. So, um, although she's getting some very good luck too. Three dodges on just a double team. That is also some very high luck. Um, I'm gonna try to use U-turn just to. I don't know. Probably shouldn't have done that, but <laughs> there we go again. And there we go again. So this is just wow. What are the chances of that? How many blizzards does Frostlass ha have? I guess five, right? Um, all right, so that didn't go as planned. Um, all right, so flamethrower. It probably doesn't even know like psychic. I'm probably just overthinking this. We don't have any guaranteed accuracy moves. All right, you know what? We're gonna bring and win. If we lose, we'll do a rematch next time. Um, yeah, just go for Flare Blitz, hope it hits. All right, after two double teams, I think it's 50-50. Although it could be holding like Bright Powder, so it might be even less. All right, that's one avoid. Shadow Ball, okay, so it doesn't know Psychic, but Shadow Ball's still gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah. Okay, it's now or never. Oh no! This is very bad. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we're gonna probably lose this one at this point, but unless Wind holds on, maybe? But then Flare Blitz will still knock us out. No? Okay. Yeah, I mean, we got some very good luck with Star Raptor, but it really didn't. None of that good luck mattered at all, because it, it still. We still lost Anna in the end, so really. As far as what luck actually mattered, Candace got a ton of luck in this match um, with all those evasive dismisses like in a row, and we got, you know, none. So, um, yeah, one v three. This is going to be hard. All right, I mean, flamethrower is super effective, but we have a much higher attack stat, right? So, um, and the magnitude. Yeah, I, I could do the math here. Um, all right, just because we're really up against the wall here, I don't think we're going to win either way, but let me do the math just to kind of see if we have 220 attack times a 90 base power move times 1.5 stab. I'm not doing this in my head. I have my calculator here. Times 1.2 for the magnet. Actually, no, I have expert belt. Ooh, so okay, times one essentially then. Whereas flamethrower would be a 138 special base times 90. <coughs> Sorry about that times 1.2 for the expert belt. Oh, times two for super effective. So flamethrower will do just slightly more and it also doesn't have the downside of doing um, recoil damage. So of course, Frost Lash is fast. I mean, all Frost has to do at this point is really use like Destiny Bond and it's one, but maybe it doesn't know Destiny Bond. All right, it's a hit, will it be enough? I know Frostlet doesn't have the best defensive stats, but yeah, just not being a stab attack and coming off of a much lower. Hey, it's burned. Um, oh, a Lumberry? What is this? Oh, maybe a Citrus Berry, okay. Well, even so, if we can get lucky here and do one more Flamethrower, we'll at least take out Frostless. Shadow Ball, okay. And at this point, I think it's like a 40% chance or so. All right, we got that. Ooh, this is gonna be close. And the, the really unfortunate part is I can't really use my best move um, because it does recoil damage. So unless we get really lucky with her two last Pokemon or with um, or with our like affection mechanic, we are in a lot of trouble here. Because yeah, everybody else is fainted. That Frost has put in a lot of work. All right, well. Um, Let's see, Brick Break will do more because our attack stat is much higher, so Brick Break it is. I don't know how good Glaceon's defense stat is. I feel like it's actually, yeah, pretty high. And, okay, good, we dodged the Blizzard, very good. I don't know if the affection mechanic um, takes hold before or after the um, the regular dodge chance would. Um, all right, let's use Flamethrower just because clearly Brick Break didn't do half. Maybe Flamethrower will. I doubt it, but... Nope, not quite. Burn would have been nice, too, but... And okay, we're getting some luck. We needed luck, and we're getting it. This is...
is going to be really close. Honestly, well, it has a cool design. Glacian is probably my least favorite evolution, just because Ice type, like I said, is not the best defensively, and Glaceon is kind of a defensive Pokemon, so it, it really makes no sense being a defensive Ice type. Ooh, might have needed that extra level there. Okay, it's time to focus. Yeah, you and me both, Candace. Weevil, ooh, Weevil's fast. This is gonna be, um, this is gonna be interesting. Although she already she already had a focus dash on Jinx, right? So. If we can do a dodge or a hold on or something, we'll be in good shape, but it's a small chance. Ice Shard. Yes! Okay, come on, Billy. Now this should be four times super effective, and Weevil does not have good defenses, so yes! Okay, so... Yeah, I mean, you guys know my thoughts at this point. I really wish the affection mechanic didn't exist, um, in which case I would have come here with maybe a few higher levels instead. But, um, you know, that's why I came in a little bit underleveled, is to, to kind of account for that, and... Uh, yeah, anyway, so at least it was it was a really tough battle and it came down to the wire, and in the end, because my Pokemon really uh, liked us, they uh, they pulled through at the last second. You sure are impressive. You may even made me lose my focus. Alright, so, I don't know, maybe you guys are like, oh wow, that was so close, I love that the affection mechanic made it come down to the wire, and you only won because your Pokemon loved you. Um, you know, like the anime, kind of, so like I get that, but just... Uh, yeah, for me, Pokemon is a strategy game, so I wish it was more about strategy and less about just blind luck. Right. But that's all I'll say on that. Wow, you really are incredible. You're even stronger than my high expectations for you, Sin. It takes more than focus to be that awesome. I guess you can call it technique, something like that. Here, I'll give you my sticker. Now we can be twinsies. Don't know about that. Alright, well, anyway, it was a, uh, a close battle. I will definitely say that. And definitely took longer than I thought it was going to. So I am going to heal up. And when we come back, I think I will probably do the, uh, let's see, I'll, yeah, I'll probably go ahead and just do the last um, two gyms. So we have uh, Volker with the Electric Gym, and then once again, the uh, toughest one in my opinion, Crasher Wake. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for that.